What's going on? It's your boy, Yes B. So, we are talking about another DSP closes. Not just another DSP, there's also another warehouse that was a new launch that said it's holding back its full launch hiring. But they also put some details in that article that goes along with something that I said months ago about this peak season might be Amazon's worst peak season. I was the only one talking about that months ago, but I'm gonna read you what they say in that article once we get to that part. But first off, any type of news like this, with any DSP closing down right now, any pullback from the launches, my thing is like, yo, how is this going on during peak season? So first, we're going to talk about the DSP. I remembered an article from a long time ago, and I remember it was about one DSP closing down, and it showed like a video that went viral of everybody crying and all this stuff, and it was it was sad, definitely tragic. But I, when I pulled up the article it was a little piece that made me do a little bit of research I couldn't find the answer to, so maybe y'all can help me. I hope this ain't the case with all DSPs, but we're going to talk about that when it comes to this first story. So this DSP was in Oklahoma, so it says Amazon's slow down sales was the last straw for this last mile delivery center in Oklahoma. It says the closure here was of the 60,000 square foot last mile delivery center in 4401 East Henford Road. It says the delivery center or the delivery station, as Amazon calls them, was one of three in Oklahoma City, opening in 2018. This thing was only open for four years. So then it goes to say, we regularly look at how we can improve the experience of our employees, partners, drivers, and customers, and that includes upgrading our facilities, is what the spokesman said. As a part of that effort, we closed a delivery station in Oklahoma City off of East Henford Road and offered all employees the opportunity to transfer to two different delivery stations close by. Remember I said, first off, remember I said, this was what I thought was going to happen. When it comes to facilities that are bunched up together, the ones that are not getting the most traffic and volume would probably be the first to go. That's exactly what we just read right here, unless I'm tripping. But this also made me think, when I saw that 60,000 square foot, and then they said, oh, we're just offering them positions at this other one. Now that I work at a DSP, I work there. I do this too. I do Amazon. Oh, let me stop saying that. I do this too. I work at Amazon delivery. One thing that I noticed it's a lot of people in them buildings. It ain't just like 12 drivers who just go to some random building, pick up some random items that no one knows how they got there, put them in the van and take off, and that's it for the building. It's a lot of people in them buildings. You got, uh, first of all, you got a gang of drivers. That's not on top of the warehouse workers. It's a lot of people working on the inside who I guess, I don't know the process on the inside for the delivery side, but I think, you know, they're like picking and they do some sort of stow to put them in the delivery bags. Basically, it's a lot of people on the inside. You have regular associates. Then on top of the associates, you got the managers inside of these warehouses. So that's a lot of employees, in my opinion. Maybe it's not. I don't know how many people they had employed at this one. But I'm just looking at a general sense. And the point that I'm trying to make is, can all those people truly just go to these different DSPs? Because even at my DSP, we have a busy route. And you know, there was a day when I came in and they sent me back home. Why? Because we were overstaffed <laughs> and somebody wasn't on a job, right? <laughs> but shout out to my DSP. But anyways, they was like, yo, you know, we'll have you as an extra. Boom, boom. I was like, listen, I'll go back home. I can finally have a day off. But it made me think. First off, just my opinion on that. I think they're overstaffed, just my opinion, because the delivery drivers quit so much, but that's a whole nother video that I am going to do. But if these stations are already full of drivers, can they take a whole nother building of people who need a job? You know what I mean? So I don't know about that. That's something I would love to hear. Some of these stories of people who get moved around, I would love to hear stories from them. But anyways, let's continue on. So with all this going on during peak season, this is pretty crazy. Definitely showing what I said a long time ago. What if this is really Amazon's worst peak season? We gonna see. But so this is something I had question on. If you guys know the answer to this, let me know. I tried to do some research and look into it, but I couldn't really find nothing. So this story right here, this is with a delivery station. This is that article that was a while ago. But something when I read it, um, basically the owner of the DSP said they're moving to Arizona. All these people lost their jobs. But what was said in here kind of like made me think. So it says that the workers reportedly were only given two weeks notice and that their livelihoods are being ripped away from them. And as independent contractors, they have no recourse and cannot even apply for unemployment. <laughs> Is this true? That's what I'm trying to find out. If you're a DSP driver and if you're classified as an independent contractor, 
Does that mean you cannot get unemployment if something like that happens? They didn't do nothing wrong. It's not like they were fired for drinking on the job. They wasn't riding around faded. You feel me? Nothing crazy. They were just working and the owner decided to leave. They lost their job. Oh no, you can't even get employment. Is this true? And the reason why I bring this up is to enforce what I've been telling people. Listen, have your backup plans, especially during this time. Because if this is true, I didn't even notice. How many people don't even know this? How many of them did not know that if this is true? Not knowing that they can wake up, getting a notification that they have two weeks, one more paycheck, and then that's it. Oh man, well, you know, at least I can get unemployment. Nah, you can't get that. If that's true, that's crazy. I'm gonna make some calls, you feel me? I'm gonna find out. I might mess around and ask my DSP, but then I want to think like, what SB finna try? This dude finna try something crazy over here. <laughs> but if you know, put that in the comment section. All right, so now we are gonna get into the FC story. And both of the links to these stories will be in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. So basically the headline on this is Amazon cost cutting hits Detroit new facility higher delay until 2023. It says Detroit's giant Amazon fulfillment center opened in October with 100 employees, but its full hiring is now postponed until at least early 2023, at the least early 2023. Um, the retail tech giant revenue slowdown spooked investors last week. <laughs> we gonna have to talk about that too. But the company is warning that it has already cut 10 billion in spending this year in anticipation of lower holiday sales. <laughs> what has SB been talking about for five months? They're anticipating lower holiday sales. What's during the holidays for Amazon? Peak season. Where they get this information from? I told y'all Amazon be watching my videos. <laughs> and then they was like, yo, SB said sales are going down. <laughs> we got we got to prepare. <laughs> No, it wasn't for me. They got people that they pay good money to forecast the future, to forecast sales. And they're telling the public. This is, The public is the last to know. They already knew this. Don't think they just thought of this last week. They've been known this. So even when you go down in this article, it says Amazon told investors early in or earlier in October, it is bracing for low holiday sales as consumers likely slow spending. That's so crazy because I've been talking about that. So at this fulfillment center, it says that the massive Amazon fulfillment center in Detroit will fully open at least a uh, half a year later than originally planned. Company officials say a move that puts an estimated 1,100 warehouse jobs in the city on hold until 2023. My whole point is still showing y'all, listen, get your stuff in order. I got a whole other video on more cutbacks that Amazon has been doing that really hasn't been you know, talked about, but it's so many, I might have to start putting them in one video because I don't want to have 100 videos in a month talking about just the layoffs and all the cutbacks. If you have overtime during this time, man, work that overtime, get that extra money, pay off any type of debt, save up as much money as you can just as reserves, try to have other plans, uh, A, B, C, D, other plans in place just in case. So my thing with this story, the press was saying like, oh, early 2023, even the spokesman, um, he was saying, we have begun initial operations at the Fulfillment Center in Detroit with the intent of ramping up and launching next year. That's from the spokesperson. But my thing is this, what have I, what, what else have I been saying on Amazon? That it's a fact, you feel me? I've been here almost four years. Ask anybody who's been here, one, two peaks, three peaks, four, who's been here for a minute, it's super slow after peak. So if it's, you know, holding back the ramp up now and it's peak, is it going to ramp up and open when it's even slower? I'm just saying, this is all my opinion. I'm not a spokesman for Amazon. I just don't represent the company. I'm just a random YouTuber. Just wanted to update you guys on those few things that I came across. I got a whole lot more, so be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the notification bell, because if you don't, you may not see the videos that I post. Yes, I'm also an artist. This is my song called Woe. I do motivation, inspiration type music. Link for that will be in the bio. If you want to check it out, support, stream it. It's on, what is it? <laughs> iTunes, Spotify, all that good stuff. It's your boy, SB. I'm going to catch you on the next video. Let's Let's go. Look, look, they say I couldn't look, do it, but I did. But I did. But I did. Turn stacks to a crib. To a crib. Yeah. Going up, going in. Going in. Let them sleep. Bedtime. Tuck them in. Tuck them in. <laughs>